the Kabbalah is a collection of Jewish magical texts which were given to mankind via psychic communion with a fallen angel called Raziel. Raziel is one of a pantheon of so-called fallen angels who serve the light bringer Lucifer. The Kabbalah describes the many angels and demons who inhabit the spiritual realm. The Kabbalah gives Kabbalists a road map called the Tree of Life, which explains how to invoke and communicate with these powerful spirits. The magical information in the Kabbalah originates from Babylon and ancient Egypt at the time of the Pharaohs, but did not reach Europe in printed form until the 11th and 12th centuries. The sacred books of the Kabbalah are just a few thousand words long, but they contain complex descriptions of a spherical earth, parallel universes, and the atomic nature of matter, ideas which have become common doctrine amongst modern physicists and astronomers. How could such complex information be contained in a group of ancient texts barely larger than an average magazine? The answer is that the Kabbalah is written in code. Codes are used to conceal multi-layered complex information which would later be studied by medieval alchemists. Sir Isaac Newton and many leading scientists studied the rich occult sciences within the Kabbalah. There was a time when mysticism, religion, alchemy, astronomy, and astrology were studied as one Kabbalistically based tradition. very careful about how we interpret what we read especially the Bible and I'll tell you why when I research these secret societies and I research the Bible and by the way I'm a Christian so if you're a Christian don't think I'm knocking your religion I'm not I'm just telling you what I found I have found that at the very heart and core of all these secret societies lurks the Kabbalah the Kabbalah is the ancient Jewish mysticism it is a method of encoding information through a system of mathematics and numbers. It is some of the most ancient knowledge that man has ever possessed and has been kept secret and given only to those who have proven themselves worthy through the process of initiation. Nobody knows where it comes from. I can tell you this. It was there long before the Jews came along. The Jews just took it and preserved it, and they passed it down, and it's used by everybody because it's at the heart and core of the secret knowledge, the metaphysics, the real science that none of us know anything about. These people that belong to the secret societies 
never dared to write down in any language what they knew, what it was that they were guarding, because then someone could steal it and then the secret would be out. So they devised secret systems of encoding the secrets of the ages, the knowledge, the hidden knowledge, the occult. Now occult doesn't mean evil. It doesn't mean the devil. It doesn't mean Satan. Occult means hidden. It means hidden. That's all it means. So they took this knowledge and they made it occult through a system of encoding encryption one of which is mathematics, numbers. Another is architecture. Everybody wonder why do they have a fraternal organization called the Freemasons? Aren't those the guys that build walls? You bet they do. But every wall they build contains the secrets that have been kept and maintained throughout the ages, and it's encoded in the architecture and in the measurements of the buildings and in the mathematical form formulas used to derive the geometry, the shape, the length and breadth and height of rooms. It's all encoded there. Каббала – одна из самых распространенных форм мистицизма. Ее последователи верят, что расшифровка древних текстов может открыть перед человеком величайшие тайны бытия. В 21 веке такие знаменитости, как Мадонна и Бритни Спирс, практикуют Каббалу в ее современной интерпретации. Тем не менее, распространение этого учения порождает множество споров. Убежденные последователи данной мистической практики предупреждают, изучать Каббалу поверхностно довольно рискованно. На протяжении многих веков адепты шифровали свои письмена, чтобы сохранить важные секреты. Сколько же на самом деле существует уровней понимания? Я думаю, что бесчисленное множество. Тут существует парадокс. Чем больше ты открываешь для себя мудрости предков, расшифровывая тексты, тем сложнее для понимания становится учение. members of secret societies who summon demons and devils from the lower planes of the spirit world. 
the rituals of cults such as the Golden Dawn, World International Freemasonry, and the Knights Templar, all originated with the teachings of the Kabbalah. The royal political elite have giant libraries, such as the Beinecke Archive of Rare Books at Yale University, which teach them how to summon forth and command the negative forces of the universe. understanding the spirit world, we can understand the goal of magical ritual performed by the global network of secret societies, witch covens, Freemasons and Kabbalists. The spirit world is every bit as real as the physical world which we inhabit. Magical ceremonies work like computer programs, repeating the names of spirits in particular orders, just like a computer language is actually a list of commands. The higher secrets of the Kabbalah included instructions on how to kill a person with just one look. This is called the evil eye. The magical name for the evil eye is en ha -ra. In a wax cylinder recording made in 1921, we can hear British black magician and part-time espionage agent, Alistair Crowley, invoking the fallen demon angel Raziel and en ra -ha, the evil eye. Since medieval times, 
the Jewish people have been considered a race of magicians. The biblical rabbis used shaman-type techniques to induce altered states of consciousness. Fasting, flagellation, and burying oneself up to the neck were all techniques used to prepare the rabbi magician for a battle through the seven portals of the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, where they would eventually meet the supreme deity in a realm called the Merkabah.